Yes, my dear friends, in this lesson, we will learn how to use our CSI camera on Jetson Nano. We are going to push the clip of the black parts you see here upwards. And then, let's connect our CSI camera. The blue part of the cable we connected to the Jetson Nano will face out. Let's plug in our cable. And as you can see here, we have successfully connected. Now let's learn how to get frames from our camera with OpenCV. Look, as you can see here, we have a string type structures. What we need to do is to use the structure here in our video capture class. Because we do not connect our camera via USB, so we should use this structure so that we can make the necessary adjustments and define it. See, here you can get larger or smaller framed images by changing the width and height you see here. If you increase these values, the image you will get will look very slow. For this reason, it is better to leave it as default. And as you can see, there is a flip method here. Here we can change our camera direction. For example, if 0 is given here, it performs vertical flip operation. So the reverse of the normal image. If we set the value here to 2, so here is the 2 value, we get the result we want. So now, Let's move to the Jetson Nano board and learn how to get frames from our CSI camera. Let's get started. Alright my dear friend, so now let's copy all of these structures. And then let's move to the Jetson Nano board. Alright, now let's open the Visual Studio Code IDE. So let's select this app. And then let's create a new Python file. So let's create a new file and let's write here camera.py. So I will write camera.py and also let's press enter. And now we will use the OpenCV module. So let's import our OpenCV module here. So let's write import CV2 and also we have to call our video capture class. So now let's create a new variable here. For example, let's write here camera. And also put an equal sign. And let's call our video capture class cv2.video capture here. And also open parentheses. And let's paste our structure here. So now let's paste it here and as you can see here we have successfully pasted it here. So now let's move to the main block and call our while true loop. So let's write here while true and also put a colon and now we will create two different variables. As you remember, the first variable will be our boolean variable. The second variable will be our frame variable. So we will use the second variable inside of our I am show function. So let's write here, for example, control. And also put a comma. And let's write here frame. And also put an equal sign. And also let's read our camera. So let's write here camera dot read and also open and close parentheses. Alright, we are done. So now let's call our I am show function and let's write here cv2 dot 
I am show and also open and close parentheses and let's create double quotes and let the window name be for example CSI camera and the second parameter of I am show function will be frame because we get the frames from the frame variable so let's write here frame and also we will create a condition here because this is the default structure so that's why we create if condition here so let's write here if and also open parentheses and let's write here cv2 dot wait key and also open parentheses and then let's enter for example value 10 and also put a space and then put an ampersand sign and let's write here 0x capital F and also capital F is equal to so let's call our ORD function and also open parentheses and let's create single quotes and for example if I press the Q key our code will be over so let's move inside of our if condition and let's write here break all right we are done so now let's press the control key and also s key so if you do something like this the r code will be saved and then let's move to the terminal and let's write here python 3 and also put a space and let's write here camera ra dot pi and also press enter yes python 3 can't open file camera dot pi so i got it because our python file name is camrea so let's write here python 3 and let's write com rea dot pi and also let's press enter all right as you can see we have successfully reached our frames so for example let's move to the our camera And as you can see, it looks perfect. Yes, my dear friend, in this lesson we learned how to get from the output using the CSI camera. So now let's move on to our next lesson.